So if you're like me, you are constantly digging through the internet trying to find any morsel you can about Nintendo Switch 2, whether it's rumors or reports or other things going on out there. Like one of the biggest things that we have coming up here is the May 7th investors meeting from Nintendo, which is just big news in general, at least when it comes to Nintendo, because it recaps the prior fiscal year and then gives expectations for the next fiscal year including forecasts from nintendo themselves predictions they're making on system sales and revenue and profit margins and look if you really like diving into numbers of businesses this is a good thing to get you also get updates on sales data for things like hey how many total nintendo switches have sold lifetime to date probably over 140 million right we were just shy last time hey what's the updated sales numbers for things like I don't know, Super Mario Wonder. So that is really interesting, and we get a lot of cool facts out of those reports. But one thing that we are hopefully anticipating, or at least if you are very optimistic and hopeful you really want to happen, is Nintendo to give a little bit of a word, a one-liner about the next platform, saying something along the lines of, our next generation system is planned to release by the end of this fiscal year or something along those lines, right? It is a very similar line of reasoning that Nintendo gave back in April of 2016 when they said, hey, that, well, they actually were a bit more direct. They didn't say end of fiscal year. They quite literally said our next generation platform, codename NX, will be releasing in March of 2017. That was a very direct line. That was the only thing they said about the system at the time. It wasn't confirmed to be a hybrid or any of that other stuff way until the October reveal in 2016. So there's some anticipation levels for Nintendo to possibly say something if the system actually is coming out in this current fiscal year, which, yes, runs through March of 2025. Now, setting that aside... There's something that happened in October of last year that I wanted to draw attention to because I didn't really pay much attention to this back then, or maybe I just didn't get from this what I thought it meant back then. Let's just put it this way. There was an interview with Furukawa, and a lot of things have happened rumor-wise since then that seem to coincide with what Furukawa said back in October of 2023. Now, this wasn't at an investors meeting. It was actually at an interview with Nick Hay. And I was reminded of it today because Polygon went ahead and updated their article. And before we dive into this, if you're enjoying the video, I'd appreciate it if you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We are on a road to 150,000 subscribers. But if you find this as fascinating as I did, hopefully you decide that you want to subscribe to the channel. So let's go ahead and look at this here. You see, they had this everything we know about Nintendo Switch 2 next-gen console article. They keep updating this. They originally released it six months ago. You can see the last update was today, April 29, 2024. But there's a line in here that I found very, very fascinating. When we scroll down here, you know, and we get to the release date section here, we get to this... Interesting paragraph right in here where it says, while this is later than we previously expected, it fits in with an October 2023 interview with Nintendo president Shintaro Furukawa, who reiterated that the company would remain focused on Switch until the end of Nintendo's current fiscal year in March of 2024, and added that it would continue to support Switch with new titles in the following year. This shift from focus to support for the Switch implies that a new console will launch in Nintendo's next fiscal year. So between April 2024 and March of 2025. Now, they also note that this also lines up with what we know about declining Switch sales, which is true everywhere but, but, but Japan. The stage Nintendo was at in the development of the console and the release schedule for Switch games. Nintendo previously ruled out releasing a new console before the end of March of 2024. Now, what's interesting about this paragraph, of course, is they don't link to any source on this. And I've now understood why they didn't, although they could have definitely at least done a little bit of something. And that is because it comes from a Nikkei interview with Shintaro Furukawa, which is 100% hidden behind a paywall. And what sucks when interviews are hidden behind a paywall is it becomes very hard to verify things. It's already hard with translations and stuff to get things right. So you have to rely on reliable places. Now, I don't know where Polygon got their translation from, but I was able to dig something up from somebody who we do know speaks native Japanese and has done a lot of reports over there, Dr. Sirkin Toto. So if we go over, he actually has this interview linked here, and it says, new interview with Shintura for Arcade. We links to the article. Nothing spectacular, but he says, until the end of the current fiscal 
end of March 2024, Nintendo will focus on the current Switch business. They will support the current Switch business in the fiscal year after that, too. Now, note what he says down here. Again, just for the record, and no huge news here, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD is already announced for summer 2024. We already have the release date for that now. One could read into this that the next hardware will come out next fiscal indeed. It's up to personal interpretation interpretation and i find that interpretation to be quite fascinating when we consider a couple of things one there's a wide reports obviously of nintendo doing a delay right delaying the system you know out of the holiday period and we can go ahead and just glance at those reports here when you see switch 2 is targeting march 2025 and was delayed to avoid shortages a new report claims this comes from vgc they talk about pedro henrique felipe they also talk about uh nikkei reports they talk about the vgc's own sourcing on this and even Eurogamer. so uh, a lot of sources backing this idea that the nintendo switch 2 was indeed delayed to that particular period now what do I find fascinating about all of this is that Nintendo is a company that's very secretive. They don't like to give us, you know, several years preview of what's to come. There are some rare instances where that's the case. As an example, they announced Metro Prime 4 back in 2017. Still hasn't come out. That's one of their longest announcement to release games ever. Uh, they do like to announce Zelda games as well a year or two early, right? They like to build a long form hype train for that. Now, part of that might just be because the Zelda fan base loves theorizing and speculating and Nintendo knows it. So they want to take advantage of that sort of viral marketing campaign that fans do that's entirely possible whereas people don't speculate as much about mario games and stuff but what i also think is at play is that nintendo obviously knows that we are ending the end of the switch's life i know there's some of you that believe nintendo's not revealing anything or releasing anything until 2026 2027 you're really holding steadfast to that 10 year mark we're in the eighth year of switch right now so you go out to 2027 10 year mark i totally understand uh, even though the 10-year mark would actually end in March of 2027. So a majority of that year is actually the 11th year, but that's neither here nor there. I think that when we're looking at this, and we look at what Furukawa said last October, his own words, and then we look at this report about how Switch 2 is supposedly going to come out this year, has been delayed to early next year, what I find fascinating is it lines up with what Furukawa said last October. Remember, if you look at what those words are, there's a shift from focus to support. And I don't think that that is by accident. Focusing on makes you feel like this is what we're putting all of our energy into through March of 2024. Supporting is just still releasing games for, but maybe not the only thing we're focusing on in that year. Now, there's arguments to be made that you could talk about while well, they're launching the Donkey Kong theme park. They got the Zelda movie coming, but they had the Mario movie last year and the Zelda movie was actually announced before this event last year so if, and donkey kong theme park expansion was announced before that too so if they were talking about well they're only supporting switch because they have all these other ventures going on all of that was happening before that interview in the first place and happening in 2024 so clearly he was referencing obviously the future of their platform business and to me, this does feel like, at least as of October of last year, that Furukawa was implying, or yeah, I think it's implying or inferring, I always get those two mixed up, or I'm inferring from, from him that this is exactly what their plan was to release Switch 2 in the current fiscal year, whether it's this holiday or the upcoming March period. So... You line that up, it kind of fits with all the reports we've had since then. It also comes directly from Furukawa himself, so that's one of those things where obviously what he says and what Nintendo says is vastly more important than any of these reports. It just so happens the reports kind of back what I'm inferring off of his words. So this is all left up to interpretation, of course, and I'm curious what you guys thought he meant back in October. Again, let's put it back on screen for you guys. So you can have a look at this yourself. Uh, come from Dr. Sirkin Toto's translation of the Nikkei article. It says, new interview with Nintendo Furukawa. Nothing spectacular, uh, but he says, until the end of the current fiscal, end of March of 2024, Nintendo will focus on the current Switch business. They will support the current Switch in the fiscal year after that. And just to prove this is a real article, here's the article right here, but it's, it's, behind, it's behind a paywall. Even using this English translation, it's literally behind a paywall. So... Take that for what you will. 
I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rebel Jantz from Nintendo Prime. Look, it's been a lot of fun talking about Switch 2. We're going to continue this journey. Hopefully, we hear something on May 7th. If we don't, it's not the end of the world. I want you guys to realize if Nintendo says nothing on May 7th, it's not the end of the world. Nintendo's going to release a new platform when they're ready. We just like to come out here and converse and talk about all the speculation, rumors, and reports going on around this new system as we eagerly anticipate the system here at Nintendo Prime. And you can obviously just stay tuned and subscribe right now to this channel if you want to stay as up-to-date as you can on the latest rumors, rumblings, and actual news when it happens for Switch 2. And whatever they call this thing. Maybe it's Switch Attach. Maybe it's Super Switch. Maybe they don't use the Switch name at all. This is Nintendo. Catch you guys in the next video.